when my gynecologist told me I had advanced cervical cancer, I was shocked. I was so scared. I thought I would die. If only I had continued with my regular checkup, it would have me the pain, the suffering, the expense that I'm going through. But thanks to God and my doctor, I'm alive and I'm here today. I am a cervical cancer survivor. God has given me a second chance to live. I was always afraid to go and get a checkup. But one day something happened and I had to. Then my doctor told me, you have cancer. And I was like, I can't have cancer because I am young and I am strong. There was no symptoms or anything. But now cancer is not a death sentence. As long as I catch it in time, you can save your life. God has saved my life. Now I am here with my kids, serving God and living for them. It's sad to think that a woman dies of cervical cancer approximately every two minutes. Isn't it amazing how many things a woman does every day? Housework, regular work, schoolwork, looking after children, paying the bills, shopping, and going to church. But you know, what should be one of the top priorities in our lives is often overlooked. Health checks, women health checks. Why are women health checks so important? Because regular checkups can save your life. If you have ever had sex, it's most likely that you would have been exposed to at least one type of HPV in your lifetime. What is the HPV? HPV stands for Human Papilloma Virus. HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection. 80% of sexually active women have the virus at one point in our lives. How do you get HPV? By sexual contact. Starting sex very young and having many sexual partners greatly increases your risk of having HPV. Your risk also increases if you have a partner who has many sexual partners. You can protect yourself by having only one sexual partner as well as using condoms. Can guys also get it? Yes, of course. Males also get HPV and pass it on to their partners. If you see something wrong with your partner, convince her to have a checkup as soon as possible. Loving them is looking after them. I convince her to do a pap smear. I'm glad I did it. Had some minor changes in my cervix, a visit to my doctor, and I'm perfectly fine. Usually, our body clears it up. But if it persists, it can cause genital warts, or even worse, cancer in the cervix. The silent killer. It can take up to 10 years to develop into cancer. But recently, we are seeing rapid developing changes, as fast as two years after being exposed to the virus. In fact, it's HPV that has been identified as the cause in nearly 100% of cancers in the cervix. Just a minute, what is the cervix? The cervix is the lower part of the uterus or womb. It's also known as the neck of the womb. What is cervical cancer? Cervical cancer happens when there are changes in the healthy cells of the cervix and these changes cause these cells to grow without control. If these changes go undetected, it can cause you to die of cancer. Unfortunately, cervical cancer usually strikes at ages during which women are meant to be enjoying raising their children and contributing their best to their community. And how do we identify these changes in time? Very simple, by doing a pap smear. In a pap smear, we take cells from the neck of your womb to check if they are normal, abnormal, or cancerous cells. Regardless of your age, three years after becoming sexually active, a woman must do a pap smear. Don, it wasn't that bad, was it? Doctor, I cannot believe you finished already. I was preparing to scream. A little uncomfortable because you know it's down there, but otherwise not so bad. A question, 
How often should I have my pap smear done? Very good question. We must do our pap smears once per year. To have your pap smear, you can go to your nearest health center where it's free. Or if you choose to go to a doctor who will check for female conditions and infections that may lead to cancer. So go and get your pap smear. But what are the symptoms of cervical cancer? advance. Cervical cancer is the second most common cancer in women worldwide and it affects girls as young as 17 years old. It is the first most common cancer in developing countries which include our Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Make time for yourself. Do your pap smear today. It could save your life. Mommy, I need to. Please take care of yourself. We're waiting for you!